In this next video, I'm going to show a counter to the north-south choke. We spent a couple videos looking at how I, I do the north-south choke. It differs a little bit from the way that other people do it. Um, but I had one of my students ask me how I dealt with this specific counter right here that we're about to go over. And I had never even heard of this counter, so dealing with it really wasn't an option. You know, I had over 10 years of grappling and never ran into this. And I just showed it to Fred, and Fred has never seen it either, and kind of annoyed him. You know, like, same way, I'm like, why couldn't I have known this? So when I see something new, I play with it for a while, and then if I have success with it, I film it, I put it online. So you guys are gonna get that. Um, basically, we're gonna go with that Matt de Leon grip from the bottom. There are a couple of things that we really need to focus on. Number one, our bicep must seed tightly against the neck, and you're gonna see the way that I raise my arm up is important with that. Number two, when I chop down, I do wanna have a good 90 degree, I do want it to come across the back of the neck. Number three, it is important that we squeeze with our elbows tight before we bridge. It should have almost a um, arm triangle type of feel, more so than the methylene, but the grip is the methylene grip. With that being said, I, I love this move, but uh, this is a really late defense. This should not be your first line of defense. This should be your fourth, fifth line of defense. You've made so many mistakes and this is your Hail Mary. You're gonna throw it up to hope to get out of this position. Please don't use this as a primary defense. Use it as a late defense and if you use it that way, uh, when it works and you get attacked with it, you're gonna feel pretty awesome, but uh, if you get out of the position, you'll like this as well. Again, it's a late defense, not a primary defense. I've made some mistakes. Now you see, we've started in this position because this is where this defense starts. There were so many things I should have done. I should have turned my head in. I should have defended uh, getting caught here. But like I said, late defense, sometimes this happens. Sometimes you just get here. So the first thing I'm gonna need to do is the arm that's furthest away from here, I'm gonna need to straighten that up. Now beware, you don't wanna get arm barred or anything like that, but if they're choking you hard enough, most of the time when you raise this, they're not even thinking about that. They're thinking about finishing here. It is important that my bicep catches. I don't want you to just come here. I really want you to exaggerate like you're raising your hand to the, to the front of the class, okay? Now I'm gonna bring my arm around the back of the neck. I don't want it to come up here and I don't want it to come over the back. I need to have a good chop over the back of the neck. So raising that arm, that arm comes down and I'm giving a good squeeze. My hand is gonna come and then I'm gonna dig my hand deep into this lat where I can go here. You can see that I'm already starting to squeeze my elbows together, that's very important. I'm here, nice and tight. I am gonna squeeze, and then I'm gonna start to lift my hips. When I lift my hips, a lot, that's good. When I lift my hips, right, I'm putting pressure with my, uh, my pectoral muscles on the face, lifting him up, you'll feel everything cinch down, all right? It is important that as I do that, I'm starting to scrunch my shoulders, and that's gonna buy me a little bit of time there so that I don't get choked. Keep in mind, you may still have to tap here. He may still have to tap. I've, I've had it go both ways. More often than not, I get the choke out of this, all right? They've started to go a lot north-south or way north-south. They've exposed their neck. They're not expecting this. It's very surprising. Um, and so I get a lot of, of like panic taps out of it. Uh, I have had to tap myself, so keep it in mind. But like I said, more often than not, I get it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I got caught, okay? One, help, raise that hand. Chop, right? Bicep. Now you can see I'm squeezing that right elbow in. This elbow's coming in as well. Here, nice and tight. I'm gonna scrunch my shoulders, I'm gonna lift. It is important that you squeeze before you lift with your body, all right? You need to take all the slack out before you lift. If you come here and you lift and then squeeze, it goes in the wrong order, your bridge is stronger than your arms, so your arms aren't gonna be able to take up the same type of slack that your core can. So one and then two. Make sure to pay attention to the arms and see the angling. Remember, arm up, that bicep is seating across the back of the neck. I chop, all right? I, sometimes I use this hand, but most of the time it's ready to catch the bicep. Here, arm over, and look at how I pull across, nice and tight, scrunching my shoulders, squeezing, and lifting. All right, trapped, right? You see this space in the neck, especially if he's putting pressure in the way he's supposed to, when I raise, I want that bicep to catch right here. One, cross the back of the neck. Two, over, bring it back, squeezing with those elbows, and then raise those hips. Guys, it can come out of nowhere. It's really pretty cool, right? You've never seen this. And it, it'll put somebody unconscious, I promise. Uh, and a lot of times, if people, north-south choke is their answer, they like to do that to you, um, just doing this will change up uh, their game plan a lot.